G'day, it's Tim Neal from Data Farming here. <clears throat> I'm just going to show you how to use the Data Farming platform, a simple introduction. Uh, firstly, the you can either log into the website um, on any device using just a simple uh, email and password. Now, you can either get this directly through, through our website where there's the log on button, or alternatively, like I've done here, is just type in... Um, maps.datafarming.com and you'll be presented with a login or sign up so if you've never signed up before all you need to do is put your username uh, your email address and your password in and create a password um, i've already obviously got one so i can just click the login screen um, this <clears throat> this will take me through uh, straight into the the dashboard um, the dashboard sort of has a summary of um, all of your farms and fields. It also has um, access to our help centers and and our store. And this page will change uh, in the near future. So if it doesn't look the same, <clears throat> then uh, it's changed. So you can he also here uh, manage your subscription. We've got an advanced subscription, which I'll I'll talk about later. Um, you can also update your sort of profile settings up in the top right. Uh, if you want to change anything there in terms of your name or address and that kind of thing. But to get started, really, you can um, just click on farms and fields. And if you haven't got a farm or, already, then you can simply create a farm. So let's call this uh, test uh, 333. <clears throat> and you can either import these files from a shape file. If you've got a, you know, a separate program like um, you know, AgWorld, Back paddock or um, uh, Google Earth, you can import your files from there. Um, you can br bring it in as a KML or a shape file. So that's um, a pretty straightforward way of doing it. Otherwise, um, create a farm. Sorry, I'll do that again. And you can draw that on a map. Um, <clears throat> so the, it's a little bit hard to see, but up at the top right there, there's a a search button. So if I if I wanted to go to um, Dolby in Queensland, just you can search anywhere in the world to do this. Um, you can pick your field. Uh, let's just uh, pick a random field here, and you simply just start clicking and drawing. Now you can. Um, sorry, just let's turn my power back on. Um, you can you just click finish editing there, and and this will bring straight up the field name. So you might want to call it something. You select your crop type, um, depending on what you're actually growing at the moment. It might even be a fallow situation. Um, and you can also then you know uh, adjust these. You'll see that there's more uh, sort of uh, what do you call it? Little little um edges that appear as well. So you can adjust your, your shape file or your boundary based on that. So once you save that field, that field's saved. Now you, at the moment, you're still in editing mode. When it's uh, black at the top here, it's still in editing mode. So you can just continue to draw um, more more boundaries if you want to. So let's draw, draw another one. And again, I can just finish editing or double click, um, save the name. Select the crop type. And so I've just saved two fields in there. Now they're saved. We have to click this back button here to go to the to, to get our satellite image now. Um, so just click on the field to bring up the available image dates. And you can see straight away there's one from the 18th of February, which was yesterday for me. Um, and if you click on on that, you'll get up the the NDVI image for that date it's that quick um so down just to give you a bit of an idea that's so that's the 18th of february um the range in values are from 0.03 to 0.57 so i can tell you now that this area here in red i don't know this field but i just randomly drew it uh is basically bare earth and this is uh growing quite well up this end so there's lots of variability in this field um, you can change which field you're looking at just by clicking on the, the field button there. You can look at standard resol or high resolution or your rapid EM machines um, by selecting that if you do have ordered high resolution imagery. 
And if you um, on the base subscription, the free one, you can just look at the NDVI, which is what we're just looking at now. Um, the NDVIR is the regional wide NDVI. Um, it, this gives you a bit of a good picture of what's happening across the whole landscape. Um, yeah, and, and it, as it loads up, it'll give you the NDVIs across the whole region. Now, um, also on advance, you can see here I can select multiple fields. So when I do that um, and pick the date, I'm now stretching this over multiple fields. On, on the free subscription, you can't, or the free package, you can't do this. But um, on the advanced one, you can. So actually this field here clearly hasn't got anything growing in it. So let's just um, get rid of that. But it shows you that you can look across, say you might want to look at all your wheat fields at once, for example. You can click on all your wheat fields and um, and, and just focus on those. Um, you'll notice too under the fields here, you can just add another field or edit those fields. So if you did make a mistake, you can get quickly go in and adjust those or add more fields in that place there. So let's go to this one now. Let's go back to our NDVIs. Um, and you'll see now that this is no longer stretched across both of those fields, just across this field. And again, you know, there's quite a bit of variation happening in here from 0.15, which is probably bare, bare ground or water, uh, right up to 0.78. So quite a big crop up in this northern corner here. Um, on the again on the advanced uh, sorry on the on the free one you can also look at the color image of that particular day so let's just have a look at the color sometimes it uh, gives you some extra ideas but um, yeah you can sort of see where that little bit of area waterlogged there um, so yeah all those are free the NDVI the NDVR and the color are free uh, for the advanced description um, you'll also get uh, NDRE which is the red edge index which is really helpful for very high biomass crops like rice and sugar cane, uh, cotton, those kind of crops that really do saturate in the NDVI. It's very good for that. Um, we also offer the thermal image product. Uh, it's a little bit coarser resolution, but again, it gives you a completely different look at the field of, of how the canopy temperature is, is going. And, you know, clearly you can see some big differences here that aren't in the NDVI. So, you know things like moisture stress or disease. Uh, it's an it's a it's a good way of doing. To, you know, looking for those kind of factors. Um, but you know, um, yeah, it's just one of those layers that it might add additional value. We, we've certainly done some work in cotton, and uh, you know, it, it's clear that it's very close to yield um, when we looked at the yield map. So I think there's a lot of opportunities for thermal uh, and PCD plant cell density is another one. That we provide this is primarily used similar sort of index but it's primarily used in uh, crops like um, um, vineyards uh, that's the sort of standard vineyard thing brings out a little bit more moisture stress type impacts as well and that seems to correlate a little bit better even with the thermal imagery so yeah you've got a range of other indices, indices you can uh, get there and we'll be adding more and more features into the advanced description as we go at the moment, the advanced subscription is $295 a year. Um, so um, good value. And like I said, we're providing more and more features in there. Um, the actions tab is where you can order. So I might want to order some, um, I can order some high resolution imagery through here. So this will take you to a, uh, another screen where you can step you through, selecting the farm, selecting the fields you want, what type of imagery you want. Um, now I have to find the farm that I just drew. There it is. So, you know, you can select whichever field you want. Um, and it will step you through if, what type of imagery you want. So just give it a second, it's loading up. You can get just standard 80 centimeter resolution and a number of captures there or um, you know you can get crop specific like the horticulture one we have a set set price and we we do set number of captures uh, for you obviously the high resolution gives you a lot more detail and particularly in horticulture and tree crops we also have tree crop um, options as well so you know we've built these these crop specific products if you like so yeah that's that's handy and it'll give you a 
give you the um, the price as you go. You can see this and you can select your sort of start and end dates. It will pick it over a three month period for you. Or depending on what you've selected here, I've just selected one capture over one month. It tells you that. And um, yeah, gives you a summary. You can pay for it straight away. Um, and we'll process that imagery for you once we get it captured. We'll actually task your um, task your farm with, with the satellite provider. So just to finish up here, a um, couple of little things. Obviously, the imagery here is every five days. This goes back to 2017. So you can scroll back as far as you like and have a look at the have a look at your field uh, over that time. Um, and also things like zooming in, zooming out. <clears throat> and also your locate button down the bottom right hand corner here. So you can actually locate yourself in the field if you're out with your iPad, for example. And we also have some measuring tools where you can measure. So you might want to know how big of an area. Uh, oh, sorry, that's just got rid of that image. Um, yeah, you can you can sort of measure some areas and distances on this as well. So yeah, another little handy tool um, just to help you, you know, try and find uh, problem areas and that kind of thing. Um, and the delete button does that. Just keep in mind that the area measuring tool does not draw fields. If you want to draw fields, you have to go back up here to add a field. So that gives you a bit of a rundown of what uh, the data farming platform does. Um, and I guess, yeah, it's really uh, simple to use. It, um, you know, you can get data that's really relevant over your properties in real time. Um, and you can, you can get those advanced subscription to um, all high resolution imagery to uh, get more, more and more advanced. So thanks very much for watching. Um, yeah, welcome any feedback, any problems, please always email us at support at datafarming.com.au. Thanks again.